welcome back guys, General Tony here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode, oh damn, I dropped my phone, to a brand new episode on the channel, so, welcome to a new game, Brawl of Ages, I'm sure some of you have heard it, Nick and Knight's played it, Moltz played it before, I think even Galadon has played it, now one of the main reasons why loads of YouTubers have been playing this game is because it's so similar to Clash Royale, in fact some people are even saying it's better guys, now the principle of this game is you have three towers on the left hand side you've got your crown tower and then your two kind of prince towers and the principle is to use your cards your deck to overcome and overpower the opponent on the right hand side now the insane thing about this game is it's 100 percent free to play within five minutes of playing the game you unlock and can use over a hundred different cards and they range from air troops ground troops spells totem cards you can even have some defensive cards guys it's pretty damn insane really diverse and it is definitely entertaining now the game itself guys of course as i said brawl of ages they are sponsoring this video on the channel it is a sponsored video so shout out to them and i'm gonna kind of go in a little bit deeper and show you what you can actually do in the game and hopefully if you do enjoy the episode guys and you do want to check it out there is a link right at the top of the description box click the link Download it 100% for free and enjoy. Okay, so let's kind of take a look at what the game's about, guys. So check it out. This is pretty much the standard deck you get. So when you download the game from the Steam store, completely for free, as I said, by the link down below at the top of the description box, you basically open the game. It takes you through its kind of training, and that only takes a couple of minutes. Once training is complete, you unlock over 100 cards. Once you've unlocked them, you can then change your deck. So this is the current deck I've got. We've kind of got a, a kind of mix and a mix and a match of troops, guys. I've gone with some ground melee troops. We've also got a couple of spells. We've got some defensive buildings. And we're trying to kind of create some sort of combo so I can do a push on the enemy tower. So let's see what's actually on the battlefield, guys. So in my opinion, one of my favorites so far, I haven't been playing the game too long, but one of my favorites so far is called the Yeti. So the Yeti's kind of similar to the Golem. He's more of a tanking unit, guys, and you back him up with other units. He will go straight for the crown tower or straight for the tower, and then the supporting units behind him can wipe out all the enemy forces. So I actually forgot to mention earlier, guys, but another really similar aspect to that of Royale is that the battles inside of Brawl of Ages are only about two and a half minutes long, so they're really intense 1v1 battles. If you love, you know, really short, really fun gameplay, this is literally the game for you. I mean, it's free to play, as I said, link at the top of the description box. But it, it, it just offers such a variety of different cards, guys. Now, check it out. We've already taken down the bottom tower on the enemy team. So that means I can now spawn my cards on their side and actually get a greater chance at taking out the crown tower. But we've only got six seconds left in the battle, guys. The Yeti just about got taken out there. We almost got him to the tower. But unfortunately, we didn't get the crown tower, which means... We only walked away with a single crown, or inside of Brawl of Ages, they actually call them seals, guys. So we got a single seal, and we're going to go ahead and check out what the uh, the rest of the game's all about. Okay, so check this out. As I said, there is over 100 cards available inside of the game once you have completed the first training stage, which only takes like five minutes, guys. Now, on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the current deck, guys. There is a total of 10 cards inside of your deck. All you need to do if you want to switch your decks or switch certain cards is drag them and drop them in the pile, the big pile of cards on the left hand side, and then you simply choose other cards. Now there's over a hundred available, if you take a look at the top left hand side of the screen it tells you there's ground troops, there's air troops, there's totem cards, a whole range of different stuff including spells. So we're going to switch up this deck, we're going to see if we can come up with something slightly different guys, and we're going to get ourselves into a second battle, we're going to see what these new cards are all about, is there anything which really stands out and really causes you to have more fun in the game, well let's find out guys and see what happens, so we're going to get ourselves into a second live intense battle, let's see if we can win. And we are back on the battlefield, okay so Brawl of Ages, just in case you forgot what the game was called guys, here we go, so we've changed up the cards, we've actually got a sandstorm this time, which I believe comes under the spell, so you know in Royale you've got like the tornado, very similar sort of aspect guys, this time we have a sandstorm, I haven't actually used it, so we're going to see what it's all about right now inside of this battle guys, so, just like Royale once again, you've got yourself a lot of elixir, you've got an elixir bar, or what is, you know, the equivalent of Elixir down the bottom. 
And we're just going to test this Sandstorm Tro straight up. Check it out, guys. It looks like it's almost taken out those bats. That was quite a lot of damage. Pretty impressive, guys. Let me know what you think about it. So far, if you've made it this far into the episode, what is your favorite type of troop card, guys? Do you like ground? Do you like air? Do you like spells? Do you like totem cards? Let me know your favorite down below. And hopefully, if we do another video, I can, cry, I can try and create a deck using those cards. Okay, so let's see if we can kind of come up with a strategy, guys. So, as I said, I'm quite new to the game, but we've got ourselves the Rat Pack. So, in the first battle, you saw we had a single troop, which was a single rat unit. Well, this one costs about two and a half times as much, but it triples the amount of power, guys. There's now three of them on the map, and it looks like they're uh, kind of like the three musketeers inside of Royale. So, check it out, guys. They're going to blast their way through a couple of those troops. Rocket comes down though, the Rat Pack makes it through a single one alive, but he goes down and we've also sent up some uh, kind of like samurai troops to the top tower guys, trying to do some damage there. We're going to drop in these thieves though, they're kind of like a smaller unit, they got wiped out pretty quickly. You can maybe use them to distract the enemy guys, but it didn't work out too well, so let's do this. Okay, so we got the Yeti. Yeti's gone down. As I said, he's kind of like the Golem unit inside of the game. Maybe a little bit more powerful than the Golem, though. We've got a couple of other units just behind. Sandstorm's going to go down, trying to swell up all those defensive troops. And it looks like it's worked quite well, guys. We've already done quite a lot of damage to the Crown Tower. Let's see if we can finish it off. So they've got a couple of units coming our way, guys. We're going to let them come into our half, and we're going to spawn in a couple of our guards just to slay them down. Check it out. They've been exterminated. Now let's go for this final push, guys. So here we go. We've got the guards going into the crown tower. We've got some of those samurai warriors just behind. Do we have enough firepower to take it down, guys? These are melee attack troops. He's dropped in his little spawn of uh, whatever they are. I'm not even sure. I haven't even used that card yet, but if we drop in the sandstorm... Did we drop it in? Nope, it didn't go in for some reason there. But uh, we've taken them out anyway. Well, pretty much the majority of them. And it was the Rat Pack which done most of the damage. But here we go, the Yeti's down. The Rat Pack is just behind. We've got ourselves the, uh, the Witch, the equivalent of the Witch. And it looks like the Crown Tower is finished. We got ourselves our victory. So feel free to check out the game, guys. Link at the top of the description box. Shout out to Brawl of Ages for sponsoring the video. This is an advertised video. I'll see you shortly for another one. Have a great day. Peace out.